And Jason here live in Des Moines. Looks like uh, things getting interesting on the roadways as we have some disabled vehicles. Well, a couple things going on on the top side of the metro right now. We're taking a peek at I-3580 over by 2nd Avenue where we have a disabled vehicle off to the side. So traffic slowing down a little bit, taking care of that. But if you travel a little bit farther west over by Morningstar, there is a rollover accident as well Ooh. over on the right side of the roadways, which is also causing traffic to be backed up and congested. So top side of the metro everywhere from Morningstar all the way to Second Avenue. Please drive safely as a couple of incidences over on to the shoulder. Also a reminder today, 142nd Street over in the Waukee area between Hickman Road and University Avenue is going to be closed as well this morning. Alrighty, it's 852 right now as we welcome to the set Rebel here from All American Exteriors. And did you have a good fair, young man? I had a wonderful now, fair. Now, where were you guys set up shop? A varied industry building. Okay. Varied industry building, and we've seen probably close to a million people through there in 11 days. Isn't that crazy? So, yeah, yeah. So it, do, it does you well. To I'm amazed that. I have a voice today. Yeah, <laughs> non stop talking. talking. Yeah. What was the yeah. biggest question people asked you over at the State Fair? Because you get people from all over the state that know you're there. Metal roof. Thing. Metal really? Thing. Over and over and over. Well, the awareness is coming because of all of the hail damage, and there's been so much hail this year in Iowa that it just... You know, I, I've, I've got other things I'd like to talk about, but it just, I keep getting drugged back to that. And so I guess that's where I'm at again today is, okay. is talking about that because that's what people want to know about. Now, this looks like your uh, your, your typical metal roof. That's a, I have yes. one of those on my shop. Is, it looks like this. Right, right. And that's been, every one of these roofs in picture today has been struck by hail. That's the only one that shows uh, a damage. And the reason that I brought that today is because I wanted people to see um, a lot of your insurance companies, because of payout, steel they'll give you a discount on because it doesn't damage as easily as asphalt. Mm -hmm. However, a lot of them are putting clauses in there now to where they don't cover aesthetics. So it could be dented, but if it still works. If it still works, you live with it or take it out of your pocket. Okay. Wow. And so that's something you need to look at and discuss with your insurance agent and make sure that you get the coverage that you want. Is that a metal roof? That's a metal roof. Wow. That's a metal roof. And it's and, and, and like I say, I've got metal roofs all over the state that's been struck by hail all the way up to, uh, I've got one roof, 800 pieces of steel on it. It had tennis ball of hail. And I replaced, I haven't replaced it yet. We're going to replace 12 to 15 pieces. And you can't see any damage from the ground. There's absolutely no reason to replace it other than the homeowner says, I don't want to have dented pieces up there. Right. And the, and the homeowner will never go up a ladder. They wouldn't even known if I hadn't went up and took pictures. But they didn't want it, and I said, okay, we'll replace them. Now, now baseball we'll, hail, sorry to interrupt you, Lou, when it, when it falls, obviously you, you have an idea of, of how heavy a baseball hailstone is, but they fall at about 120 miles an hour. So there's a lot that's of force awesome. there. Yeah. That's totally <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So yeah. If, if the roof will withstand that, that's, that's saying something. It is. That one right there, that one is in Walnut, Iowa. Mm -hmm. Every roof in that town got replaced but that one. And that one right there had no visible damage. The f right after, there was some small dents. But within a week, the sun had popped them out. Oh, I see. Oh, I and didn't so, know it did that. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like when they use dry ice on a car, you know, to, to pop the dents. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, it, the same it literally. Process, the same uh, type of process works on, on uh, the, the uh, steel. Roof. Right. Through the normal process of expansion and contraction, it will pop I most of the I never would have guessed out. that. Mm. Yep, yep. And pricing-wise, difference between asphalt and steel roofs? About twice. You know, it depends. Our base price for asphalt is, is around $300, and our base price on uh, the, the steel is around 6 So, I mean, it's... So if you're going to be somewhere a while and you have to replace the roof, or if you're building, metal's probably a good way to go. Only way to go. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one of those where you can truly you do it. It's one time, and you're done. I mean, my steel roofs have a 50-year warranty, non-prorated unlimited transfers and no transfer fees. It's a paragraph warranty. You go to an asphalt and you say, oh, I got a 50 year, it's like a five page warranty. Hmm. <laughs> There's a reason it's well, five pages. Yeah, and you go through and you read it and it's got all these words that you never, you've never heard before. You know, now it's you all mentioned legalese. that guy earlier was replacing some of his that really got damaged, he, what, what he said, half a dozen pieces of steel? Well, there's about 12 or 15. Okay. And, and, and really, none what of does it cost per chunk of steel, like if you want to replace a Because a they're my customer, and we like to take care of our customers, I told them I would do it for $600. We'd go out and, and tear apart the roof, replace those pieces, 
and I'm sure it's all sealed up again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. We're heading slowly toward winter. Is there an advantage of steel in the winter as opposed to asphalt at all? If you've got ice damming problems on your roof, a lot of older houses, the heat goes up and it causes brad ice damming, which causes water problems and, and dry rot and that kind of a thing. If you've got that, the steel will eliminate it because it's actually vented and so that heat escapes out mm. instead of instead of coming on through the steel the uh, the air circulates so it, it eliminates those big long icicles and stuff like that really <laughs> never yeah. heard that okay so yep. a lot of these things we're learning about steel well, roofs today and that's what the fair that's why i said at the fair i mean people ask again and again i said well i guess i'm gonna go in and talk about roofs again okay okay <laughs> we do so much more but besides steel okay what's the second thing people ask you the most about uh it's got to be the siding Mm -hmm. You know, it's got to be the siding, and, and I think it's because it's so confusing when you talk. Everybody you talk to has the best siding, and you go to the varied industry building, there's 28 people selling siding. I say every yeah. aisle has at least two or three people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and so, you know, they're like, well, every, this guy says his is better than that. So I take with me the consumer reports from June of 2009 and June of 2014, where it was independently tested, and show them that the siding we offer is rates better than any other siding. Warm impacts, cold impacts, expansion and contraction. Um, the ingredients go into it. It's not going to chalk or grow mold. You know, I mean, the insulated value, the lengths, everything about our siding tests higher than anybody else's product in the United States. Okay, so if you're doing your homework, you know what you're talking about. Exactly, exactly. Right. So I just give them that and say, you Google it. <laughs> here's your, here's this. I start them on their path and go, do your own homework. Yeah. I can tell you it's the best, but do your own homework. Right. Because I know I've brought the best products to the table. Okay. I do it every day. That's what I work at. If there's something better, that's what I'll be talking to them about. <laughs> okay. And like Jason mentioned, uh, you know, although we're talking 90 degree temperatures here in the next couple of days, you're going to have to start thinking about winter uh, just around the corner. So if anything you need to have done for your house, getting it ready for winter, you probably want to start scheduling. You know, you do. You do. And, and really, I mean today, because because with all of the hail, everybody is coming into the fall with a large workload. And typically, we're, we're usually everybody staying even. Mm -hmm. And then from the state fair on, you just get buried. Mm -hmm. And so right now, everybody already has a large workload, and we're getting buried. So right. okay. if you need something. And these something, are all contractors in general you're talking. So yes. Yeah. yeah. When I'm, I'm talking about the industry. I the mean, industry. Okay. Even bad contractors are busy right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That tells you something. And that that says something. That, yeah, right, sure. right. Well, we're rebel how how do people get a hold of you in case you have more questions? Uh, you can reach me at 515-248. Wait a minute. 255-4872. There you go. <laughs> Didn't mean to throw you Did there. Did I tell okay. you the fair was a long <laughs> fair? Go take some time off here. Yeah, let's she talk was about, that way yesterday. Let's, yeah, I was. Let's, I looked at the screen for help. It wasn't there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> no, it is. Uh, it was a go. long 11 yeah. days, but they were fantastic. Right. They're amazing. That yeah. spells amazing all for USA. A-L-L number four USA. Perfect. So let's talk about something different, Rebel. What was your favorite fried item on a stick? You know what? I didn't eat a fried item on a stick. You this didn't? Year. No, I know that's still an American or an Iowan at least, but but I I, I still got to say I like the Red Devil uh, funnel cake. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's fried, really but not good. a stick, though. It's fried, right. But yeah, I had plenty stick. of fried. I mean, we had fried cheese. We had, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not on a stick. Not on a stick, stick. right. Cheese right. curds are awesome. All right, buddy. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. Thanks That's why on. I only gained three and a half pounds <laughs> in 11 days. I stayed away from the stick. Because you're doing this so much. Right, right. Perfect. <laughs> it is not a